human sacrifice incident in Jamaican church. This is wild. So the reason why we're covering this now, even though um, it happened uh, almost a month ago, is because there's been new reports that have emerged about the nature of the incident and more details that actually flesh out um, what happened on this day, this crazy, horrible incident. So uh, in Jamaica, uh, reports have emerged, uh, recently emerged of a horrific series of events at the Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Church that left three people dead, including a human sacrifice victim. On October 17th, the Jamaican police responded to a report of ritualized killing in a resort town church. Pastor Kevin Smith, had asked church members to be present at the church on the evening of October 16th, and the service continued until 1 a.m. the next day. The following day, the pastor spoke of, quote, being God in the flesh and asked all members to start throwing away certain items that he requested. As the members were following orders, the gruesome act began. Pastor Smith instructed his companion, um, Kayvon Palmer to cut the throat of whoever was standing in front of a broken wine bottle. The pastor began to tell members that they needed to die to be cleansed and resurrected, and even pulled out the tubes of an intubated tube of an intubated church member. You know, someone who's on assisted um, uh, breathing or like dialysis, that kind of thing. Um, another church member had her throat slit reportedly without protest and with the pastor remarking, quote, she is a goat. She has to die. She is a sacrifice. Several of the church members who participated in the murders were killed in confrontations with the police. Pastor Smith and a police escort died in a car crash that happened while being transported while in police custody. What religion is this? Um ostensibly Christianity. But mixed with some voodoo local stuff? No, I mean, I don't even, um, I don't think it has anything to do necessarily with, actually, I wouldn't say anything. Um, I would say that it, I get the impression it does not have very much to do with any sort of like local local practice. This was just like- This is just pure pure Christianity? People- Uh, well, it's more like a cult. Like this was a, a cult incident. I I know that um, in Jamaica there is like a certain relationship to to goats. It has a certain significance, but I'm not familiar enough to actually be able to um, speak on that with any clarity or authority. Um, um, and and okay, so what was the update? Which part of this was the update? Oh, so it, it wasn't an update so much as like more details have emerged about actually what went down um, okay. in terms of how everything unfolded. Right. Um, okay. So we didn't have this level of detail before. Yes. Okay, there, There's okay. so much more detail to go into. It's so crazy, but you, I don't know if on. we need to just because it gets really gruesome. Yeah. Um, uh... Mainly what's so crazy is that now that there's more um, reports that have been released to the public um, or news agencies about from witnesses about what happened, um, uh, it's really concerning. And it it's so the way in which the pastor instructed certain of his church members to go and just murder other church members is shocking. So one of these men, um, Kayvon Palmer, is reportedly kind of like was the pastor's bodyguard. And um, when told, he was just going and like going to go kill people. Um, What was so shocking was that in the midst of the chaos, Smith allegedly handed knives to other followers, telling them that they are archangels and encouraging to slash their fellow members um this guy has any i mean this guy i mean this we can't like really as much as we want to blame things on religion all the time i don't think like this is christianity you know what i mean like i don't i don't think this has much i think this guy this was just this guy isn't it like is this i don't know i mean i've read the bible this is this is not in the bible (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to defend the Bible. The Bible is like horrible and teaches well, you, but but this is not in there. 
so and, to and, me, I mean, is, is, mm-hmm. cool. as someone cool. who um, is very interested in studying um, cultic abuse, um, how leaders can exert and influence people to do horrible things that they normally wouldn't otherwise. This is all the hallmarks of being a destructive authoritarian organization. Um, And, you know, this is very Jim Jones-esque to me. Um, So, and in terms of the, because Jim Jones was a pastor as well. Actually, his original church, one of his original churches is like, in my neighborhood, basically. It's crazy. Um, and, um, he, they, they, so there's one aspect of it that is the, um, abusive behavior that cult leaders have over their followers. But then the religious aspect of it is how do they use existing understandings about a given faith to, as a tool in, to their advantage? How do they, how do they manipulate, um, religious narratives, um, to get people to do what they want. So for example, quote, at one point, female church member Tanika Gardner arrived at the church and was allegedly subjected to a series of questions by Smith, including, do you believe that I can raise you from the dead? To which Gardner answered, yes. At that point, Smith asked witness A, just as they're known in the report, to cut Gardner's throat. When witness A refused, he asked another follower, and Andre, Andre um, Ruddock to slash Gardner. According to the statement, Ruddock obliged. Um, so how did he find such gullible people all in one place? Like, I think like even in like, in other, ch- like most churches are not like this. You know what I mean? No. Like even most Christian churches, if the pastor comes and says like, hey, um, kill the person that is standing next to you, even as gullible as Christians are, I would assume that most Christians would be like, what the hell? Somebody called the cops. Do you know what I mean? Like, how did how did this guy manage to find a gr- such willing participants uh, in uh, all of them in under one roof? Like, this is, yeah, go on. So I'm not familiar with the overall history of this church and congregation, but based on my research and understanding this sort of thing doesn't just happen overnight it's not a matter of you just like finding certain gullible people on any given day of the week this happens because people have been groomed congregations communities have been groomed to expect and accept certain behaviors over a long period of time certain maybe heightened rhetoric over a long period of time they're introduced to certain ideas of persecution or self-sacrifice, cleansing, whatever they might mean, over a long period of time. And in the case of Jim Jones in Guyana, um, he would, he would, um, what's the word I'm looking, he, he would prime them with ideas of one day there will be an instance where this mass suicide, he, he didn't call uh, it just that, like, will Just come. like Jim Jones, just like Jim so, Jones. Um, yeah, that, that's that's what Jim Jones did. So they they prime their congregations with these ideas right, that like right. one day this kind of thing will happen. And so I don't know to what extent he this pastor Kevin yeah. Smith actually did um, yeah. do that to his congregation, but I'm willing to bet there are aspects of that that were involved in this over a longer period of time because, like you said, what you, one thing that I have to contest when you say is how do you find people that are this gullible? And this is a ma- massive misunderstanding that people have when it comes to cults. They think, well, I'm smarter than that. I can never be fooled like that. It's not that simple. I promise you, everyone watching this, under the right circumstances, you could do this too. I'm not even kidding. It it's it has, has to do with your environment, what's around you, how much this group has control over your immediate physical environment. Um and also maybe different practices that reinforce or act um actually inhibit your own critical thinking processes that would normally raise red flags about hey this is really dangerous behavior this is really dangerous way of thinking um and authoritarian cult leaders are very charismatic and often they're extremely good at storytelling and um making people believe in a larger narrative that they're trying to paint, right? And that is how you galvanize people to act on your behalf. Now, in in terms of how this all comes together, when the police responded to this, there was a shootout. 
The church members Wait. started shooting at the cops and attacking what? them with machetes. Unbelievable. Yeah. What? So a lot of people who were um, participating in these murders of the other church members were killed in this confrontation with the police. There was one guy, um, Andre Ruddock, who was the man who slit the throat of that old woman. And he actually was taken into police custody and survived because the pastor, Kevin Smith, was taken into police custody. And when he was being transported in between locations, there was a car crash and he was killed in the car crash. So in terms of, um, uh, we are saying, wait, they had guns. It's Jamaica <laughs> and machetes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and mm. so this Mr. Ruddock, he is, um, facing murder charges right now in terms of, I know people often, um, wonder about like, who's going to be held accountable. Like that's the answer for that question. Um, but yeah, this and is, Based ahead. on what you know about calls, what do you think is the motivation of the pastor? Like, what, like, what is the end goal here? What do, what is going on in their mind? Or like, what is he imagine? What do you think he imagines is going to be the result of all this? I have what's no idea. That's what's no. really difficult when sussing out these kinds of situations because oftentimes there, um. There is a malignant narcissist that is at the top of a pyramid of an organization, right? And they are the authoritarian cult leader. And their own malignant narcissism causes them to have a very destructive influence on everyone around them because obviously they inherently only care about their own self-interest, okay? Now, what that own self-interest could be um, can be very hard to ascertain because oftentimes they will project authority, right? So um, there's so many instances of cult leaders being prolific pathological liars. Um, everything do about they believe their, their own lies? Do you think they believe their own lies? Do you, like, that's what I was getting to. Because this oh, okay. is how we get into motive. At certain point, people say, are they doing this uh, in a willful evil intention? Or at a certain point, do they actually believe their own delusion? And it's a very, very difficult thing to disentangle. Sometimes it's I not even a question you can answer. You know, I think they believe it based on, you know, if, it, if okay, here's here's how you could tell, okay? Um, here's how you could guess, okay? I'm not saying it's like 100% uh, like foolproof way of understanding. But if they're making money, or if, if you could say, if you see the goal is something, the motivation is something that is actually will make them better off, right? um monetarily or like politically or whatever then i think that they know they're lying to people okay uh but if they're but if the end result is like dude you're gonna go to jail or you're gonna die right or like this is this cannot end well like for you personally right then in those situations i assume they believe their own crap because they wouldn't be doing they wouldn't be harming themselves this much like putting their life their own life at this much jeopardy like risk uh, if they didn't believe this crap so if if they benefit from all the bull crap they're spreading i think that to some extent they know that they're lying but if they do not benefit like this guy i don't know what happened to this guy he died in a car crash in police custody oh. Oh, okay, wait. So I, he'll I, never I be held accountable because when the police were moving him between locations, he he and a police this escort is, were killed. This is like, like Puya said in the live uh, uh, this is like, sounds like a really bad action movie. Like it's how crazy. many things, car crash in a police car, like, yeah, I mean, if you, if this was a movie, I would like, this is escalating too much. Like, this is not believable. This isn't believable. <laughs> this isn't believable. Yeah. But again, even if he didn't die in a car crash, he would go to jail and his life would be ruined. So I'm assuming he thought he was special. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing that he actually thought he could raise people from the dead or something like that. Yeah. Like the level of delusion is too high. Honestly, I wonder if there was any drug abuse involved because with, pastor jim jones reverend jim jones like he was high on amphetamines all the time and so that contributed to the depth of his delusion and the violence of the delusions that he would have i of course i i can't actually say um 
I, I know nothing about if this man used substances in any ways, but I'm just inclined to say that because this is so unhinged. I'm having a hard time like thinking of other um, explanations. But like I said, that's just speculation. Um, Cody, Cody is coming. Cody is saying, bruh, how did the crash happen? I normally don't wear tinfoil hats, but man, that crash sounds orchestrated. Okay, Cody, you're... I'm not going to blame you because I was like, really? He just died in a car crash afterwards? Like, okay, we don't know it like this. We don't know, but <laughs> it's really weird. It's really weird. <laughs> like, no explanations, just like, what the? F <laughs> so random. Yeah, me yeah. and Susie were actually watching a movie and there's too, there were too many things happening in one scene. I'm like, okay. What is like? How are all the all of these happening at the same time? Like, I was having a problem with the plot. I was like, you have to spread it out. Like, it's not believable for all of these things happening at the same time. It's very unlikely. Like, the plot was becoming unbelievable. But apparently, in real life, like it happens. Like, okay, um, <laughs> it's yeah, wild. Chris, Christopher is saying, how common are car crashes in Jamaica? I don't know. Um, Okay. I don't know. I guess okay. my final thought is that it's really upsetting to know that there are so many congregations around the world that are this vulnerable to something like this happening. Like, honestly, so many more communities are vulnerable to this type of abuse than we would probably ever be consciously aware until something mm -hmm. just absolutely unhinged and horrible like this happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The real lesson is Stay away from religion and harmful drugs. Well, we don't know if drugs were involved with this, but as a yeah. side note, just generally stay away from harmful drugs. I will also I promote wish... that message. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, don't get don't get triggered. We said harmful drugs, okay? We were care I was careful with what my language. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.